Hi there, I'm Mike Hitchcock, Director of EHS for Caltex North America. Here at Caltex, the safety of our employees and our contractors is our top priority. As a Caltex employee, there's a number of things that you can do to help promote a culture of safety. And here's a couple of those tools. First, there's the SUBO card system. SUBO stands for Safe Unsafe Behavior Observation. SUBO allows you to identify situations of both safe and unsafe behavior throughout the plant, and it also allows you to stop or encourage that behavior. Next, there's the TPM card system, which stands for Total Productive Maintenance. This ensures our equipment is running at the optimum levels of efficiency and avoids unplanned breakdowns. Now let's take a closer look at the SUBO card system. If you see an unsafe behavior in the plant, stop the employee involved and have a discussion with him or her, pointing out the behavior and how it can be avoided in the future. Then simply get a SUBO card and fill it out. Fill in the incident and where it occurred. That's it. No name is necessary. It's not meant to be punitive. It simply helps us to track the safety environment of our plant. And tracking these observations helps identify where training may be needed or it may point out an area or group of employees that need specific communication about a topic, like forklift operation for example, or a current procedure that just isn't working. However, we also like to know where we excel. So if you see an employee carry out an act of exceptional safety behavior, we'd like to know about it. We want to acknowledge good behavior and apply the lessons learned or best practices in other areas of our business where we can. Now let's look at the TPM ticket system. Studies show that preventative maintenance improves efficiency and OEE, which reduces unplanned breakdowns. By properly maintaining the equipment, we ensure the optimum output of the environment. Maintenance items are highlighted before there's a breakdown. This helps keep it in top shape, and it helps predict when things need to be replaced before something breaks down. A good example is greasing and lubing equipment so that it operates efficiently. Proper maintenance also helps to avoid abnormal conditions, and we all know how abnormal conditions can lead to a higher risk of injury. By observing certain elements on a regular basis, we can watch the wear and tear and understand the lifespan of a certain piece of equipment. Then, by creating a standardized checklist to observe on a regular basis, we can identify the need to change a piece of equipment before it expires. Here's the grommet station. It has 10 items on a checklist that are critical for that machine to run. The pulley gets lubed up so it's always running smoothly. Rubber stoppers may wear out, so they will need to be checked too. Different parts will have different scheduled intervals of checks as well, some weekly, some monthly. A team member will check the standard items on a regular basis to track each part's lifespan. This helps ensure that equipment is always operating the way it should without breakdowns. Here's how it works. The TPM system has two cards or tickets, yellow for maintenance and red tickets for safety. Let's look at an example of a yellow ticket item. You notice at the welder, a light bulb above the workstation is burnt out. Realizing a repair needs to be made, you would take a yellow ticket because it's just a repair that needs to be done. It's not an immediate safety concern because the equipment is not currently in use. When filling the ticket out, you would record the type of repair and the location. Once it's properly filled out, hang the top part of the ticket on the location where the repair needs to occur, and then tear off the top copy and take it to the TPM board. This board is used to organize the maintenance work orders, so we can be assured that someone is scheduled to come and fix it. Red tickets are for safety items, so the system prioritizes the urgency related to a safety factor. Now let's look at an example of a red ticket item. Imagine you see a hole in the guarding of a machine. You would use a red ticket because it is more critical to repair due to the risk that someone could be injured and we want to highlight that risk and get it fixed right away. Something like a loose panel that needs tightening but doesn't present a safety risk wouldn't be a red ticket. It's just a maintenance repair item. So there you have it. The next time you see safe or unsafe behavior or you see an unsafe condition, you can use the SUBO or TPM card systems.
Let's work together to create a zero injury culture and to keep everybody safe.